Hello, I'm Pam of HealingStars.com. This is the chart for the full moon today, 18th of August 2016. It's set for London, UK. It's been a glorious few days. We've had our summer and it's, the sun is still shining. And in this chart, that's exactly what the sun is doing. It's in its home sign. It's in Leo, the beautiful Lion King or the Queen of Hearts. So here's the sun at 25 degrees of Leo. Always at a full moon, the moon is in the opposite sign to the sun. So here it is in Aquarius, the purple sector down here. Now we've got a lot of tension happening in the sky at the moment, which is being reflected here on Earth. But let's look at the good news first of all. Uranus, here's Uranus in Aries, a fire sign, red sector, and it's making a trine to the sun in Leo, in the yellow sector. Fire is enthusiasm. Fire looks up, it, it goes up, it, it, it ignites, it inspires. It's life force itself, and that is what Leo represents. It's the creative aspect of us all. It's our inner child. And at the moment, the children are on holiday. So there's a lot of them around in my local neighborhood and they're incredibly cute. Now, Uranus in combination with the sun didn't happen at the full moon last year. Uranus is all about the genius, the higher mind, the lightning force that suddenly you get an idea that comes from nowhere, out of the blue. Uranus, changes things. It's retrograde at the moment, a lot of planets are retrograde, but as it does this, it, as I said, it's accessing the sun and it's been doing that over the last few days. If you feel inspired by some new creative project, take note, it's real. The only thing you need to do now is to put it into action. Aries is governed in turn by Mars. Here's our friend Mars, it's now in Sagittarius, but look, it's very, very close to Saturn. And this effect will come into exactitude next week. Notice here we have it. So around the 23rd, 24th, suddenly these two are connected. Mars wants to move forward, Saturn is resisting. It's the brick wall. If you're driving a car, it's, a, it's the brake is on at the same time. The good news is, 25th of August, Mars overtakes. That's saying, yes, let's go for it. Let's move forward. Coming back again, what I'd like to also show you is there's a lot of energy at the moment in the sign of Virgo. Here is the North Node, here's Venus, here's Mercury and Jupiter. Venus, beautiful Venus, now an evening star, is also forming this trine, the blue line, a flow of energy to Pluto in Capricorn. This is a very powerful combination. This is the goddess Venus or Persephone being the queen of souls in the underworld, married to Pluto. This is a powerful combination of energy. Venus is love and relationship. Venus is not said to do well in the sign of Virgo. However, I'm a believer, whatever sign a planet is in, you can use it to its advantage once you understand it. Venus in Virgo along with Mercury and Jupiter, is talking about detail. Venus is the sign that loves things to be perfect, but also sorts the wheat from the chaff. Now, perfectionism is not an easy thing to live with, especially if you try and, and use it with people. People are not perfect. However, if you use this energy to clear stuff around you that you don't no, no longer need. Give it away, take it to the charity shop, 
donate it, do whatever you want to do with it. You might want to burn it symbolically if it, it lends itself. But Venus wants you to do this, as does Mercury, as does Jupiter. Venus and Jupiter are the two benefic planets. They do well, and they're on your side at this moment of time. The other thing to notice at this time is Mercury is actually going to stay in Virgo for quite some time. The reason being, here it is, the end of the month, it will go retrograde. So it's in Virgo, it's sign of exaltation, which means it's, it's super brilliant for communication, sorting things out, being thorough, looking at structures, habits, all sorts of things to do with communication. And notice the 31st also of the month, Venus moves into her home sign, in fact, the day before, of Libra. Relationships are key at this time. By then, of course, the sun will also be in Virgo. This is a time of August to prepare very much for the next season, which of course is Virgo and the harvest time. And Mercury is really helping us. A full moon coming back. There it is. There she is. A full moon is always a time to look at what was instigated, what you started at around the time of the new moon on the 2nd of August. That was when the sun and moon were at 10 degrees of Leo. They were trining Saturn at the time. That was good for starting producting, being productive, shall I say. Now it's the time to look at that and go, how far have I come? Am I doing well? And also to notice the energy of positivity. It's easy, though, to get caught in the difficulties. And there are those with this T-square, it's called a T-square. And this Mars Saturn energy is to do with being patient. It's a virtue, and not all of us have that quality within us. But to keep going is my advice at this time. Keep sorting and keep tuning in to Uranus. In astrology, planets, especially the sun, the sun is a big planet, it's a star, of course, will still keep its connection to Uranus, even though it's moving away, for the next, I could say, the next, at least the next five days. Get rid of stuff, please, that you no longer need in your life. And start making plans. I've now got an idea for something that has been on the back burner for a long, long time. And I can feel the energy coming through, which is to do with this planet Uranus. I'll be telling you more about that over the next week or two. So stay posted. And if you sign up for my newsletter, Pam at Healing Stars, you can be the first to know about my plans. Thank you for watching. Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com